PRP, that stands for platelet-rich plasma. It's a regenerative injection technology that uses the patient's own platelets to regenerate healing, actually creating a healing process and, and strengthening and tightening up those, those otherwise damaged and, and loose structures. So there, there's four basic processes to, to PRP. The first is the actual uh, draw, the lab draw, where we draw 60 cc's of the patient's blood. Um, then the second stage would be centrifuging or spinning down of that, of that blood into its constituent components. We have plasma on the top, we we'll the red blood cells on the bottom, and there's a buffy coat, a thin white line between the two, that's where the platelets are. We draw off the majority of the plasma and discard that, and then we reconstitute the plasma, platelets, and small amount of red blood cells back together to form the platelet-rich plasma. That's what's used to do the injection. The third part is reconstituting that blood. We usually mix it with lidocaine. We may add a homeopathic uh, remedy to the PRP uh, for the injection. And the fourth and final step of the process is the, active, the actual injections. The following day, uh, they're able to return to basically normal day-to-day -day activities with some slight discomfort from the inflammatory process. The majority of the healing process takes place in about six to eight weeks. So after six to eight weeks, we reevaluate and see if there's need for further injections at that time. PRP actually goes to correct the underlying problem by creating an inflammatory response to get long-term benefit. You're fixing the cause, you're not just covering up a symptom.